month had gone by since our last competition, and apart from Carol, nobody was talking to me. How could I make them understand that that was not the best way to deal with me? If they wanted me to stay, I needed them to come right out and say it. The silent treatment just made me want to leave. Even now, I find it really hard to think back to that Christmas week. There are times in your life that are best forgotten, like the ones I'm about to relate now. That day, I was packing my bags for the big departure to the Beechwood Academy. Carol was helping me and supporting me through the trauma. It was harder and more stressful than any competition. This was it. I was to say goodbye to the Sycamore Academy. Next time I competed, my old enemies would be my new colleagues, and my old friends would be my new enemies. forget that. I'll miss your wisdom, you know. Knock, knock, knock! People usually knock outside. Oh my god! It's him! Who's he? You don't recognize him? It's Spike! The Blood Flower Singer! <laughs> the one and only. You were at the concert the other night. You noticed? Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Carol, stop! Go on, pinch me. Ow! Nope! He's still there! So what can I do for Mr. Spike of the Blood Thingies? Blood flowers! I'm Jade's mate. She told me about your bun fight. And the stuff about Esteban you should know. Oh, that's Jade all over. Listen, I'm not interested. Go and tell Jade if she's got something to say, then she can say it to me herself. <laughs> okay, keep your hair on. You've got a lot in common, like Jade said. Don't compare me to Jade ever. Looks like I've touched a sore spot. Anyway, let's change the subject. Anyone want an autograph from the latest pop rock sensation? I think I'm going to faint! Sorry to blackmail you, but you do me a favour. I'll give your friend an autograph. Oh, please, please, please! Okay, but only because I want to know what other underhand tricks Jade's been up to. Here, just follow the instructions and come and find me in an hour. Careful, not a minute more or less, or... Late's my middle name. That's gonna be tough. Time to break the habit, Princess. Later! What did he call me? Princess! He called you Princess! Oh, you're so lucky. No doubt the key to the gate.
there's the red rock in the picture, and there's a key underneath. What did you want to talk about? You didn't come all this way to talk music. Sounds like you're pleased to see me. I never liked you very much, so please, save the two-faced to small talk. Jade's trying hard to get Birdie's Academy on the road, and she's not happy you poached her best pupil. Poach her? <laughs> That's Jade, the drama queen all over. Her last hope is old enough to make her own decisions. That's what I told her. I also suggested that maybe you were sweet on us, so you couldn't be blamed for trying to keep her within arm's reach. Are you as dumb as you look, Spike? You know perfectly well I feel nothing for the kid, the same way I felt nothing for Jade at the time. It's so easy to wrap women around your little finger when you know how. I don't agree, but you must have your reasons for being so twisted. Reasons of my own? Of course I have! I spent a year of my life in prison waiting for the moment to get revenge. That moment is now. Jade has lost her rising star, her academy is on his knees, and mine is heaven bound. Understand now? The game is over! Loud and clear. And me too, I'm through with playing. What are you doing? Sticking to my choices, even the most impulsive. A friend taught me that recently. Jade won't be losing her rising star Sunday, so get ready to be brought down to earth with a loud bang. You tricked me! Do you think so? In that case, I'm not as dumb as I look. You will pay for these at the competition. Great right hook, don't you reckon?